It seems whenever there's news, there's news. Quote me on that one. <laughs> no, but today, first off, 500 likes is our like goal. Um, I did actually do a video earlier today talking about Fafnir and Force reveal. Now, before we actually continue, I do want to briefly, very briefly address the criticism on that. Uh, just on the part where I was talking about uh, the frame and whatever, right? And, and parts or whatever. You know, pretty much my idea is like this. You know, if Hasbro can do wall and they can do lift, I'm pretty sure they can do every other frame. And either way, I think it's a pretty valid criticism to complain if they're missing a part. Considering, you know, they haven't done three and hit, yielding, good reboot, whatever, etc. if I'm missing anything else. So that's why I do get a little bit annoyed if we miss a part, because I prefer if they actually release it, since in the turbo lineup we haven't actually gotten, we still haven't gotten into three disc or hit frame. But, aside from that, we got some pretty awesome news right now. So, uh, I've actually found these images. Can't wait to do my Unguard video whenever Unguard's un images come out. But it is Morigna M4 and Tornado X Dragon Y4. So, it's not Morigana. I realized it wasn't Morigana with the fact that at the end of the spelling, it's not G-A-N-A. -A, so it'd be Gana. It is N-A, it's at the end G-N-A, so it'd be Morigna. So I, I tried to do some research, apparently this is also based, I think this is in the same sort of like lore based with like uh, Dullahan, 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 whatever. It's apparently a crow, I guess, that's what the lore is based on, which is pretty cool. Before we get into the, the anything else, that Tornado X, your Dragon, I know it's a filler bay, but yikes, man. Yikes. Why? <laughs> I guess it's kind of got a cool theme going, you know, with the tornado idea. I, I guess. Hey, you know what would be a really cool idea? If they actually did Tornado X, Tornado Y run. That would have been a cool idea, huh? Would have been a cool idea for a theme. No? Okay, we're gonna pick each other. <laughs> No, I don't care about your Dragon. It's all right. Parts are, I think, four and Fusion Slingshock. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, TV years. All right, so Fusion Slingshock. You know, the, we always get like this, we always get the old drivers repeated like Acceler. It's either Accel or Fusion. It's one or the other. Morigna looks really cool. It's literally the Shatoon stock minus the frame. The parts are two and loop. Slingshock. Now this is what I like to see. I like to see when Hasbro gets creative and either makes completely made-up drivers like Prevail Slingshock, which belong to Kraken, or stuff like this, uh, Loop Slingshock, which means I think it's the third now new driver we got that wasn't repeated. We got uh, with Balar and Gargoyle, it was Massive Slingshock and Spiral Slingshock. And now we have this, really cool. So something I do want to address before we move on to the thing, it's the actual two bays right here. Because if you notice, if you notice, Loop does look very bulky, but something I am happy to see with Loop, it's not like the same situation with Tower, where if you don't know what Tower Slingshock basically is, it, it calls itself Tower Slingshock, but it's just the taller version of Excel Slingshock, right? With this one, huh? With this one, you basically got the same gimmick with Loop. I don't even think, does Loop's gimmick really don't work? I don't really care. It looks, I love it. I love it. So, now we're going to talk about the design of the bay and everything like that. So first off, this is what the two bays look like right there. Uh, you drag it a little bit closer, actually, it doesn't look too bad. Kind of like, actually, like a little, I, I like the little attention to the detail, like the little, like, dots around it. That kind of looks cool. We're going to look at Marigna, the little raven thing. That, crow, it's a crow, it's a crow. So. The shape, I don't know why, it reminds Okay, the shape is like Air Knights, but if it was Garuda and a smaller circle, which potentially means if the slopes are good, this is gonna be a very solid layer. A very, very solid layer, which, uh, isn't it, uh, is it a defense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, this is gonna be a solid defense type layer for sure. It's gonna be a solid defense type layer. So, taking a look at this, I do very much like the design. I also do like, uh, you know, some of these Hasbro exclusives like Typhon, you know, whatever. You know, they kind of put like 
too much like metallic paint on it. Like if you want to use it, like designs like this, I think look really like sleek and nice, nice, nice. So it really like we're gonna ignore the fact that it basically is a crow. This basically is sort of like a bootleg if the tomb had an evolution in turbo bay. Come on. What, the black, the purple, the clear? It's literally just themed after Satoom. Which is cool, not a complaint. Which is cool. Uh, this definitely looks like it's gonna be worth getting. Which is kind of funny, because I think actually probably out of the three, which I've yet to see on guard, which I don't think on, I think on, on guard's gonna be a good one. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm assuming it is. Probably gonna be like, this, this exclusive looks very promising, that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm like Fafnir, I'm pretty sure on guard, and this one are gonna be pretty, pretty like, yeah, I like that. I like that. But that's why I'm gonna leave it off for this video because my my Zanky senses are tingling, and we're probably gonna get on guard news like a, a minute after I launch this video. So enjoy, enjoy all the uploads today. I'm never doing this again. I'm only doing this because I just saw. I don't know what's up with the news today. First Hasbro just randomly says, yeah guys, uh, Daphne's in uh, the US, I guess. Yeah, sure, it's on stores, go get it. Go get him, Tiger. And then after we just get this. Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me thoughts in the comment section below. Tell me, actually, out of all the Hasbro exclusives, which one do you think was the best one that they released? Like, out of all the Hasbro exclusives, not counting this one, because obviously we can't tell right now, but out of all of them, what do you think? Was it Ogre? Was it Kraken? Which do you think was the best in terms of design or even in terms of performance? Well, that's where I'm going to leave off this video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.